My name is Brad Frieden. I'm a product marketing engineer with Keysight Technologies. This video is a part of a series of videos looking at how Infinium oscilloscopes can be used to make a variety of RF measurements. We're going to be looking at the S-series oscilloscope. This scope offers 8 gigahertz of bandwidth and it's been redesigned with a new front end and time base and combined with amplitude and phase correction on the channel response these scopes function as an excellent RF receiver for a variety of applications and we'll look at a digital communications example wideband communications today. Advanced IQ modulated signals captured on the oscilloscope will be exported into the 89600 Vector Signal Analyzer or VSA software where it's vector signal processed to be able to look at a constellation diagram, the spectral content of the signal, as well as a calculation of the error vector magnitude. So we'll take a look at how to set up this measurement. A QAM16 signal with a 2 GHz carrier frequency and 2 GHz wide modulation is being created with the M 8190A arbitrary waveform generator. Differential signals are being brought out of the arbitrary waveform generator and brought over to a ballon and then into channel 1 of the oscilloscope. We'll start with a preset setup in VSA. We expect to have a 2 GHz carrier, so we'll select a center frequency of 2 GHz. Since the signal should be about 2 gigahertz wide, I'll pick a span that's a little bigger than that. We'll go with 3 gigahertz. And I'm starting to see the signal now in this spectral view. Then in the measurement setup menu, I can go down to measurement type and choose under general purpose digital demodulation. And more specifically, under the digital demodulation properties, I have set up 16 QAM, that's the type of signal that I have here, and a 2 GHz symbol rate, as I mentioned, is 2 GHz wide. So with that, we can move forward in going to a 2x2 two two display. That brings up a couple other measurements. One's going to be a look at error vector magnitude uh, and also calculated error vector magnitude. Now you'll see the constellation diagram is pretty noisy and that's because we have not yet adjusted the sensitivity of the oscilloscope. So right here on range I can start dialing up the sensitivity of the oscilloscope and as I do that notice in the constellation diagram how my dots are getting more and more clear as I have a larger and larger signal filling the screen of the scope. I'll do this until I see a little indication of overload. Okay, right now I see OV1, that's overload. So I'm going to back off a step so that goes away. Alright, so this is the optimal sensitivity of the oscilloscope. What kind of results are we getting? Well, I see a very, very fine constellation diagram and an error vector magnitude of just under 1%, about 0.96, 0.97%. Um, that's an excellent result. Um, and that's really been achievable because of the linear front end in terms of amplitude and phase of that S-series oscilloscope, um, as well as its near in phase noise. One last thing I can do is turn on averaging. That should clean up our spectral response. Now we see a really nice view of our signal. We can see that it is centered up at 2 gigahertz, and it is 2 gigahertz wide from 1 gigahertz up um, to 3 gigahertz. So with the VSA software, we've been able to really evaluate the quality um, of this signal. We've seen how the S-Series oscilloscope served as an excellent RF receiver and the VSA software was able to take that scope data and process it into some very meaningful information by centering on that carrier frequency, selecting a span around where we had signal content, and then doing the vector signal processing. The VSA software was also able 
to allow us to do equalization on that signal when we made that measurement, um, thus further reducing the error vector magnitude measurement. If you'd like more information about this application, please go to the URL on your screen, and thanks for watching.